Hi, today I'm going to show you how to draw one of my favorite cartoons from this book, How to Draw Animation. It's by Christopher Hart. Great book, full of all kinds of fun ideas. But this one is especially fun. I like this little grumpy dog. So I'm going to start with that one and hopefully get you hooked on drawing cartoons. Because cartoons are a lot of fun. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with is the eyeball. I'm going to turn my page this way so I have lots of room. Okay. The first thing you're going to do is do a curve. We're going to start in the middle of the page, a little bit to the right. So you're going to do a curve upwards like this, okay? And then start right near where you started that line, and you're going to curve the eye, and, and it's going to join up with the, with the brow. I guess it's the brow. The pupil's going to go right at the front where that line touches that line. And then you're going to do a larger line, like that, okay? The top of the eyebrow comes down to here, and it's kind of a slope like that. Next, we're gonna do a J shape, so pretend that this is the top of the J. Move my hand so you can see. It's gonna go down, like this, and up, and there's this big nose. Okay, did you see how I did that? Here comes his nose, it's going to curve around like this and stop and then do a line here and a line here. I'm going to color that in. That's the side of the nose, I guess. Okay. And then he's really upset and his little bottom lip is sticking out. So there's, the, there's his mouth and here's his bottom lip. He's very, very mad. Okay. So that looks like a little tab coming out. And then make this line nice and smooth. It's going to go down and up like that. And then make that kind of more dog-like. And his neck. So look at the edge of this eye and go down. That's where you're going to start his neck. And it's going to go curve back out like this. So he's kind of going and looking back. His head is pushing back. Then you're going to go where this the chin is meeting the neck. And you're going to go back behind the head and show that dog's neck like that. And to finish it off, we're going to put an ear. So do a curve like this. Okay, there's his ear. He's very mad. It's perked up. And then this kind of curves down like this and joins that. And then I'm going to just tidy up my lines, connect that to that, connect to that, to that, make that nice and smooth. And now we need a reason for why he's so upset. So I'm going to make this a little bit darker to show he's really mad. That might be part of his eyebrow, okay? And I'm gonna draw a little bee on his nose. It looks like maybe the bee is gonna sting him, or maybe it's a wasp. So here comes the bee, I'm gonna draw a little, or maybe he just thinks the bee is gonna bite him or sting him. There's the front of the bee, and there's the abdomen. Let's do some lines, okay? Do some dots. And some big wings, and then I'm going to go out in, out in, kind of like those shapes, starting at the thorax here, out in, out in. Just three, because you would only see the, the legs towards you. So that is him, my little dog that's very upset. And what you can do to show anger or frustration in a cartoon is do a big storm cloud getting to making it thinner and thinner and thinner. So there you go, there's a little mad dog. You can try that at home.